Okay, so today we'll be looking at tapping your steel frame for T47 bottom brackets. The taps we'll use come from Cheboygan Tap and Tool Company, and these assemble onto the standard Park Tools BTS-1. Now the left hand tap is indicated by the markings LH from the factory. Similarly, the right hand is labeled RH. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is lay your taps the way you're going to put it in the frame. Obviously, left hand tap goes on the right side of the frame, and the right hand tap goes on the left side of the frame. Now you're going to take a little bit of cutting oil and place it on each tap, just a little bit to keep the temperature down while we're working. Now as we're moving to the frame, you want to make doubly sure that you have the correct taps. This is with the left hand thread, so we'll start in this direction. Insert it as so, make sure everything's aligned. Alright, so now that the process is started, keep your cutting oil close by so that you can add it while you work. Just keep the temperature down and make sure this all occurs smoothly. As this is the first time we're going to be doing this, we want to suggest that you cut a little bit on one side and then alternate to the other side. You know, this keeps it supported and in the long run makes cutting the shell much easier. There's less risk of having the taps uh, come out of alignment while you're working. And there you go, just making sure to add your cutting oil before proceeding. With your work finished on one side, you can move and finish the other side as well. And again, the benefit of having one side completely done is that there's a more stable support for the tool so you know that it's not going to slip out of alignment while you're working. And once the tapping's done, we're going to carefully remove one side of the tool and just inspect the frame shell, make sure that there's no issues going on with the tapping, that the threads look clean. Now, once you're done and the frame shell has been cleared of debris, you can either choose to install the T47 bottom bracket you have, or if you don't have one on hand, you can alternate to the Enduro Torque Type bottom bracket, as both will work in this new shell. The Torque Type bottom bracket simply installs as before, with no further retrofitting required. 